Yo, what's up? Gabby here from Ray Studios and today I'm going to be reviewing these two lavalier microphones. So Salomoni had contacted me a few days ago and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing this and I was like, sure, why not? And these are the Lab Micro U1. This connects to your iPhone or iPad via lighting connection. And then we have the Lab Micro U3. This connects to uh, your Android devices via Type-C connection. So let's go ahead and get them out of the box. Because it's my very similar, I just unboxed the Type-C model. As you can see, they come in this pack. There is a few documentations like guarantee and instruction manuals. The microphone itself that comes with this L USB Type-C adapter, a strap, and the mic itself is a two meters long cable, pretty long. You can see here the alligator clip. It's pretty good quality and it also comes with this nice Phone tip. Right, so I connected the, the lapel microphone. You can see it here. This is the one that goes to my camera and this is the one that I have it right here. And you can hear it. Hope that didn't bother you too much. Oh, having an iPad mini is like having a huge screen in front of you and it's kind of hard not to look at the screen. It's like I look at myself at the screen, which means my eyes are, I should be looking at the camera. That looks more professional, right? So it's kind of hard because the camera is almost invisible. By the way, I'm using the selfie camera on the iPad mini 5 and yeah, the camera can barely see it, but the screen is huge. So yeah, so I tend to look at the screen, but I should like, mm, look at the camera. So this is how it sounds like with the lapel mic. To be honest, I already reviewed this audio. Uh, this is like the third test that I run and it sounds really good. And surprisingly, it sounds that good because usually lapel microphones sounds better when they're Wi-Fi. So, you know, you have a transmitter and a receiver, basically that have a preamp. There is no preamp here. It just sounds really good. Um, surprising because this is quite affordable. Um, it is really a good solution. Now I'm going to give another test without the mic. So just for your reference, this is how it sounds like if um, I only use the inbuilt microphone on the iPad mini 5. And I, I did notice a difference. Of course, this is a control environment right now. There's not much noise. and. It probably sounds a lot more full with the lapel microphone uh, than it sounds right now. Um, it, it's just a little subtle difference that make your video look very professional versus, you know, amateur. So now I'm going to be testing um, with the Android device. All right, now you are looking at the video that I'm shooting uh, with the Redmi K30 Pro. I have the lavalier right here. You can hear that. That means that the microphone is working. And again, I'm using the selfie camera, I know. I could probably use the main camera and get much better video, but I think I don't really need it. And I love to see myself on the screen <laughs> because I usually have the screen very far from me when I'm using my camera. Even so, if I have a flip of the screen, this screen is amazing. Like I have like it's almost six point something inch screen. But yeah, I should be again looking at the camera. So this is how it sounds like with the Redmi K30 Pro. And this is how it sounds like without the lapel connected to it. So this is the microphone that I have on my camera. So now there is the, oh, you're only hearing basically to the inbuilt microphone of my Redmi K30 Pro. Again, I'm still using the same camera, everything the same. Probably it's the lighting that makes it look so nice. For a video that I'm using my selfie camera, it looks not bad. But probably the audio have, you know, decreased on quality quite a lot. If, if you have, that's because the lapel is actually helping a lot, making the video sounds a lot better and a lot more professional. I hope this have demonstrated somehow the power of this little lapel microphone and how good it is, especially for the money. You're getting a pretty good value on it. All right, so this is a very valuable purchase. I know that many people now are stuck at home because of this virus going around. And if you are, you're probably gonna have the need at some point or another to communicate with other people. And then, you know, the most effective way to do that is through video. You might not have a expensive camera like the one I have, you might not have a wireless microphone, but with a very little investment, you're gonna be able to connect to your uh, smartphone device or uh, iPhone, iPad, whatever it is that you have, other Android. You're basically covered with anything here. And with that, you're gonna be upping up your production level because if it sounds good, that's all it matters. Like if you're doing a video interview, you're doing a presentation, an introduction, a training over video. The most important is going to be the audio. There is some people that say audio is like 70% of your video, and I couldn't agree more with that. It is really indeed very important. I hope you like this video. It was somehow informational to you, and if it, it was, 
please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you up on the next video.